This here is the new SwitchBot K10 Plus, the smallest robot vacuum that I've ever used. It also has a mopping capability, although it's quite different than others that I've used. So let's take a closer look at this and see if the small size of this guy here has what it takes to keep your smart home clean. Let's go. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back. My name is Shane if you're new here and this channel is all about building an easy Apple home smart home with new videos and live streams published every week. Big thanks to SwitchBot for sponsoring today's video and sending me out their new SwitchBot mini robot vacuum K10 Plus. Now I'm a big fan of SwitchBot. I've used a number of their products and still do every day here in my house. So when SwitchBot reached out about this new mini robot vacuum, I thought this could be the perfect solution for my studio here. Now this robot vacuum is really designed for smaller houses or apartments and it will work great in those use cases, especially if you have a lot of furniture or hard to reach places. That's one of the things I love about this thing. You can clean areas up to 120 square meters it includes a four liter dust bin, which will allow you to clean for up to 70 days without having to empty the bin. It has a suction power of 2,500 PA, which is great for such a small size. It's very quiet and vacuums at only 48 decibels when in quiet mode. It has an edge sweeping brush technology for vacuuming, and you can even mop with this using disposable mopping pads. I'll show you that in just a minute. It supports Google Assistant, Alexa, IFTTT, and Siri shortcuts. So let's take this out of the box and get it set up. We have our getting started guide. Here is the vacuum itself. Just look at how tiny and cute this thing is. We have a couple of sweeper brushes and we have the dust bin. Again, I love how tiny this thing is. I have the perfect corner for it here in my studio. Inside the dustbin, we also have a little package with an extra filter and an extra dust bag and a pack of disposable wet mopping cloths. Download the SwitchBot app if you don't have it already. Like I said, I do have a lot of SwitchBot devices already, so I have the app, of course. You can tap on add new device. It will scan for nearby devices and it does notice my robot vacuum. I'll tap on that and then just follow the few setup instructions so I can pair this vacuum to my network and begin mapping the room. Now once set up, you can just let it run and it'll map the room automatically. Thanks to LiDAR, it does a fantastic job at very quickly and accurately mapping the room. Like I said earlier, I do primarily plan to use this here in my studio. It's perfect for a little space like this. It can easily navigate under and around all the furniture and stuff in this room. So I do love that. Of course, this can also clean hard floors. So one of the cool things about this vacuum is that because it is so small, it's really easy to pick up and like, you know, move to another room if you want to. So I did move the vacuum to my main floor and let it map out that whole area as well. So you can map up to 10 separate rooms, I believe. And you do not need to move the base station, you know, to map out new areas or to clean them. So that's pretty neat. I did try out the mopping feature on the hard floors. The vacuum does have to be in either a mop mode or a vacuum mode. So it cannot do both at the same time. To mop, you'll need to install the mop pad. There are very clear instructions on the mop pad itself and on the pack of disposable wipes. Just attach a new wipe to the mop pad, put the pad on the vacuum, make sure it's in mop mode in the app, and then just let it go. The SwitchBot app is very well put together in my opinion. Maps are basically generated automatically. You can easily create those no-go zones, create cleaning plans that will change the suction power you know, per room, utilize smart cleaning or have the robot clean rooms in a specific order, which is pretty cool. There are four different suction options for the vacuum. You can even control the vacuum manually in the app if you need to. Get the status of all of the accessories, get weekly and monthly cleaning reports, and of course you can create a schedule for automatic cleaning. There's a child lock that disables the physical buttons on the robot. There is a reduced collision mode that is supposed to reduce the collisions with large furniture or, or curtains and stuff like that. I don't know about this one. Mine still seemed to bump a lot of things uh, just to find its way around, but I'm all good. So this could be good. Maybe if you have curtains or something like that that you're a little worried about. There's also a carpet mode that will increase the suction power when carpets are detected. So maybe that would be good, you know, 
uh, if you have like hard floors with rugs or maybe carpets in certain areas. Cloud Services is gonna allow you to control your vacuum with your favorite smart home voice assistant. So I do like to use Siri shortcuts. This is great. This allows me to simply tell Siri to start vacuuming or I can include the robot vacuum in my Siri shortcuts, which I like even more. So I created a little choose from menu shortcut with all of my SwitchBot vacuuming options. This is great to quickly uh, perform actions just using the shortcut. All right, now what about Matter support? Matter is that new smart home standard if you're not aware that we've started to see and hear more and more of lately. Matter 1.2 was recently released, which does include support for robot vacuum. So. Does that mean we'll you know, finally be able to get a robot vacuum working natively in Apple HomeKit? Well, I was told from a representative at SwitchBot that customers can expect to be able to control the SwitchBot K10 Plus and their flagship S10 vacuum mop in the Apple Home app for cleaning and charging through Matter by the end of January 2024. A SwitchBot Hub 2 will be required for this Matter integration. Now I do always tell people don't buy anything based on a promise, but this is pretty exciting for us Apple Home users. So I did a whole video on the Hub 2, which I'll link up here and also down in the description if you wanna check that out next. Overall, I think this is a really cool vacuum, especially for you know your smaller houses and apartments. It has really good suction power, especially for such a small vacuum. And I do really love how much better it is at just moving around furniture here in my studio than the more standard size vacuums. Now the mopping capability here on this one may or may not be a deal breaker for you. It really just depends on your preferences and what you're looking for. Many robot mops nowadays do have a dedicated water tank, rotating pads or sonic mopping. They can auto refill and empty themselves. And many vacuums can actually mop and vacuum at the same time. This one here obviously doesn't do all that. Um, so if that is something you're wanting, you'll probably want to look at other options on the market, more tailored for mopping and those just higher end vacuums. Uh, SwitchBot's new S10 that's coming out soon is one of those. Um, that thing can even connect directly to your plumbing and water supply lines for true, fully automatic cleaning. The K10 Plus is more of a budget-friendly option. Uh, it's good for, again, your smaller rooms, apartments, and things like that, especially if mopping is not a huge priority, in, in my opinion. Again, perfect for bedrooms or offices. I've used regular, you know, size vacuums here in my studio. And again, this SwitchBot just does so much better at navigating around all the furniture and different stuff that I have in this smaller room, thanks to just such a small, you know, size of the K10 Plus. And honestly, you know, even for mopping hardwood floors, I do kind of like this one. See, water tanks, like what's used in most robot mops is really not good for real hardwood floors. So I could see something like this that just uses these like disposable wipe pads as being really a better option if you have real hardwood floors. That's just my two cents, you know, honestly, with real hardwood floors, the less water, the less damage that you could be doing to your floors. But since you do have to manually replace the mop wipes and pad each time you want to mop, you know, again, it might not be the best option if you're looking to mop your floors just on a really frequent basis. Now, like I mentioned earlier, I love how easy it is to just pick it up and move it around. So I can definitely see myself moving this around, you know, to different rooms, maybe clean a bedroom or something just by moving it, put it in there, let it run. We'll see how often I do actually end up doing that in the future and, you know, how much maybe I use that mopping capability. I might use it a little bit, um, but definitely in the meantime, it has earned a permanent spot here in my studio just to keep my carpets clean every day. I definitely plan to keep using this thing here. I'll put affiliate links down below in case you decide you want to pick one of these up for yourself. Using those links do help out the channel and is always very much appreciated. You can pick one of these up today for $4.99 US. They do offer a 30 day money back guarantee, which is really nice in case you decide, you know, it's not working out for you for whatever reason. I'm going to try to find a discount code for you guys. I'm not sure if I'll have one or not, but if so, I'll definitely put that down in the description as well. As always, thanks so much for watching here are some more videos on screen that YouTube thinks that you might like. Check them out and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Join the party. Come hang out during my next live stream. We do those every week and talk about smart home stuff. You can ask me questions. It's always a lot of fun. I hope to see you there. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.